Hello friends welcome to our channel if you are interested in learning something new then listen to me if you have not subscribed to our channel do subscribe now so in this video we will learn about food and where does it come from this is the first chapter of class 6 science in crt textbook first of all what is food and why do we need it general definition of food is any substance that animals or plants take to stay alive so it is a very essential part of life this also answers our next question why do we need food that is primarily to stay alive food also provides necessary nutrients required for our body what are nutrients and its types we will learn in future chapters next food also provides immunity to our body to fight diseases now that we have answered what is food and why do we need food next question that arises in our mind is where does it come from so we will look into it in this chapter you might have observed when you have lunch with your friends in school not all of you have same dish or food item for lunch one of your friend might have rice and dal other idli or chapati etc so you will see different variety of food okay now are all these food items made up of same ingredients no each food item is made up of different ingredients maybe some of the dishes might have same ingredients like one or two so where do these ingredients come from yes some from plants and some from animals hence they are majorly classified as plant sources and animal sources from plants we get fruits vegetables grains etc from animals we get milk meat and egg In your textbook page number 2 there is an activity given. They have given different ingredients. You have to fill if they are plant or animal sources. Do it now. Can we have all the parts of a single plant? No, not all parts of a plant are edible. That is eatable. We eat fruits of some plant roots of some and leaves of some some plants have two or more edible parts for example seeds of mustard plant give us oil and the leaves are used as vegetable can you think of some of the other such plants write it down in comment section okay now let us perform a small activity first take a bowl pour some water into it add any cereal like moong dal or chickpea to it and keep this bowl aside for a day next day morning drain the excess water and keep it aside for another day on the third day you will start observing some sprouts you can wash these seeds and have them you can also boil it add some spices and get a tasty snack to eat coming back have you heard of honey where does it come from bees collect nectar from flowers convert it into honey and store it in their hive flowers and its nectar will not be available throughout the year so bees store the nectar for their future use when we find such bee hive we take the food stored by them which is called as honey okay moving on do you have any pet animals or cattle at your home if yes you might be aware of the food that animal eats have you ever thought of what food does a squirrel or a pigeon have think and try to find out Some animals have only plants and grass whereas some animals have meat 
Based on this, animals are classified into three types. Herbivores, Carnivores and Omnivores. Herbivores are the animals that eat plant and plant products. Example, cow, goat, deer, etc. Carnivores are the animals that eat other animals. For example, tiger, lion, etc. Omnivores are the animals that eat both plants and animals. For example, bears and birds. Then, which category do we humans belong to? Let me know in the comment section. So, in this video, we learnt about what is food and its needs, different sources of food and also different categories of animals based on their food. In the next video, we will learn about components of food. See you all in the next video and if you have liked this video, click on the like button and share this video with all your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon to be notified when we upload our next video. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Keep learning.